Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mohsen. Machine learning method to support personalized implant, medical implant. Around 80% of people will have at least one orthopedic surgery in their whole lifetime. It is around 300,000 surgery per year, which is cost around 1.99 billion per year for the National Health Services. Unfortunately, over than 15% of the surgery need to be retreated, which has caused dissatisfaction, which has caused increasing the cost and other problems. Uh, there are some challenges in medical implant. The, the mechanical property of bone is different from one person to another. It is it, it is different from one gender to another gender. It, it even the area which you are living may cause that your mechanical property of bone be different. That's why we need to think of personalized bone implant. The procedure for producing medical bone implant is time, is time consuming and it's a trial 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 and error approach and uh, most of the time the surgery produce a medical bone implant and fix uh, try that in your body whether to fix it or not so this is trial trial and error approach and also time consuming uh, This, with the help of 3D printing machines, we have the ability to produce any sophisticated geometry, layer by layer, with the help of 3D printing machines. There are four parameters, four important parameters for personalized bone implant. As you can see here, manufacturability, geometry, also integration, and material selection. Different part can be addressed in different field of study, but what we are focusing on, focusing on here is uh, geometry and specifically we are talking about some mechanical property of the bone like uh, prosthety, shear modulus and joint modulus. Because bone is a pro is a pros material. In this study, we are focusing on predicting these three mechanical parameters with the help of convolutional neural network in three dimension, a 3D convolutional neural network. As you can see the architecture here, for predicting these three important uh, mechanical property. In order to achieve this goal, we created a database, not uh, a database of 20 different lattice structures for training of our algorithm and also aid for testing. You can see some of the pictures here, some of this lattice process structure. If, if, if we can do such a things, if we can predict uh, prosity on modulus and share modulus of this simple lattice structure, then we probably in the next step, we could do it for the bone as well. So we created this lattice structure, then we slice in 20 pictures, so we, we created this and we designed this lattice, this lattice structure, then we, then we uh, sliced it in 20 pictures to fit in our 3D convolutional neural network algorithm. So as we previously talked, why this type of lattice structure? As I said, prosthety is one of the main goal. Uh, bone is a pros material. If we, be, if we be able to predict the prosthety, then we, we may be able uh, to do such a things for bone as well, for this lattice structure, if we can solve this problem in this lattice structure. For designing this lattice, we use SolidWorks, which is a famous, uh, famous software for designing. The dimension of each lattice is five millimeter by five millimeter by five. And also we use creation workshop as a slicer to slice the uh, to slice each geometry. For implementing our uh, deep learning 
uh, algorithm. We use uh, PyTorch, which is a famous framework of deep learning. And like all uh, workflow of PyTorch, we did the same. We we make our uh, we made our uh, data ready. We did resize them at, uh, in 22 by 22. Then we build our uh, model. We pick our lo uh, loss function as MSE, MSE loss function. Then we train uh, over over the picture we had, and then like what we did, uh, fit the model and prediction. Then evaluate the model with do, with uh, with the eight new pictures that we had, and also uh, through experiment we try to find a better parameter for. Uh, our number of epochs and for learning and then uh, using our model. We also, as we know, 20, 20 lattice may not be uh, enough for us. So we use different types of data argumentation in order to increase our data set. Like famous different data argumentation like resizing, like uh, zooming and also rotation, different data argumentation in order to increase our data set. And we uh, use our model on the increased data set, like for example, different strategies. Like for example, we have 20 strategies here. The first, our first, uh, our main uh, strategy, then we increase it to different uh, data augmentation and we tried our model on different uh, on different strategies. Uh, what we are going to do in the next step is we all know the power of uh, deep learning for 3D reconstruction. So we are trying to use deep learning in order to uh, sample uh, to see if we can uh, if we can use it uh, for uh, 3D reconstruction of bone or not. And also another part which is which is so important, we are trying to focus on uh, predicting uh, stress distribution of uh, stress distribution in bone. Uh, if we can solve this uh, and this this mechanical property, then we may be we may be able to make better personalized bone implant. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much for that wonderful presentation. Do we have any questions from the audience? Okay. Sir, please, the research, is it to be able to help computer involved in making of prosthetics or what? Sorry? Sir, is the research to, to get computers involved in the making of prosthetics, you know, prosthetic legs and arms? The, uh, the main the main goal was using deep neural network in order to in order to predict some mechanical property. That was what we did. What we exactly did. So, what am I saying? Does it have any business with prosthetics? That was the benefit of prosthetics. Now, what prosthetics are? What is prosthetics? Like the fake arms, limbs, and the rest. Yes, this is we are as as I said, we are talking about personalized bone implant. There is some uh, as, as I address the main issue, uh, we we cannot make bone we, we cannot make bone implant for everyone. That should be something personalized because the property of the bone is different from one person yes, to another. Yes. That's what we think of personalized bone implant. For personalized bone implant, we need to address a lot of issue. As we discussed, the one of them is the mechanical property of the bone is different from one person to another. If we can have a better prediction, then we can have a better. Okay, so let's get the computer involved to enable you to make a better prediction to help with the making of whatever it needs to be made. Okay. Uh, thank you. Welcome. Any other question? Yeah. Wrong call. Okay. Uh, will we consider the pose, like the pose detection of uh, differs from one person to another person? So whenever you you are going to make the implantation of uh, you know the mechanism, will uh, will you be considered the pose of uh, which differs from persons? Uh, 
Look, we made our problems so easy. As I said, we are not in the first stage trying to make bone implant. We are trying to predict the mechanical property of some lattice structure, which is so simple. If we can do such a things, then in other stage, we can do such a things for medical bone implant as well. But in the first stage, first, we need to solve this issue, whether it is possible to do, to predict prosthesis, to do, to predict uh, uh, young, mo young modulus, share modulus, these famous mechanical property in these lattice structures, then we can address, then we can come to, to that question. Any other question from online participants? Okay. I think now we'll move to the next presenter. Thank you, Thank you very much.